I don't want to die on this planet, dude. Really? I don't want to, like, for real, for real. I don't want to die on this planet. Damn, that is a very rich thing to say, I feel like. <laughs> 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 Meatball, you know that guy? There he is. You good? <laughs> Who are you talking about? Can I ask you where the name Meatball came from? Him? Uh, I think he's from Rhode Island. <laughs> he's raised by a bunch of delis. <laughs> raised good to by see you guys, delis. man. Thank you guys for having me in today, man. <laughs> yeah, Theo, Theo, well, welcome back, guys. If you're uh, listening, watching, or viewing this podcast, welcome back to Impulsive, number one podcast in the world. It's a fact. You all know that that is a fact. Uh, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We are back in L.A. Uh, for a short period of time. I participated in Mr. Beast Creator Games. Whoa. Do you know what those are? No. Is it like a um, competition? It is like that. <laughs> and was it how, how, how did you feel? How well did it go? Uh, bad. Bad. I lost... It was $4 million, which is no. a million bucks, bro. I was, and, do, I was doing some, some shady shit. And is it rich people betting on it? I've never heard of it. It's called the Squid Games. Well, how rich do you have to be to get to get the Evite or whatever? That's what I want to know. So this was it's with the creator game. So if you're like a YouTuber or influencer, he gathered 15 of them to compete for this million dollars. And there's 10 different challenges. Oh. And then a giant game of hide and seek at the end in SoFi Stadium. Damn. It was crazy, dude. I hid in a, Bro, I hid in a fucking 36 degree fridge. For five hours in shorts, Ooh. Ooh. in the back of a pantry, in the back of a cafeteria, Ooh. and still lost. At 3 a.m. they found me. No at 3 fucking a.m. they found me. Hide and seek? Yeah. You lost at hide and seek? Hide and seek. I would have never lost. What cost you? You would you, uh Nah, but do people don't even know I'm around when I am around. Do you think they're going to try to find me when I'm hiding? Really? Do you feel, what, is that neglect or something? I don't know. He, I don't George want to talk is about in a mood. Either. George is in a mood today, dude. You, you When you came in earlier, you saw them getting into a little spazzle, dude. First yeah, of all, it was more like razzle dazzle. It was like we don't really get that mad, but we get a little out there. You ever you ever clickbait your friends, Theo? What is it? <laughs> you ever clickbait your friends? What like what is it? Like what is it? You say it. Clickbait. You ever post a YouTube video with one of your friends and put them in, in like a compromising like title? Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. Here's yeah. my friend Andrew Schultz. Oh yeah, he fucked a cow and he really didn't. But this he, guy, local aids or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done it. Yeah, we use it sometimes to get a little extra money. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad about it. We usually keep it up for about 135 thousand views and we'll pull it down. Or what I do is like I make it really, really crazy and then switch it thirty minutes in. Just so the algorithm can get a little nice push. <laughs> I, I think I think we I think we should say something. Um, or uh, this is either a pro. This, I think this is episode two ninety nine. Ooh. I think this is two ninety nine, which is we almost got you on three hundred, which is crazy because I think you were here for episode two hundred. Two hundred. With MGK, one. yeah. <laughs> that was one. That was one hundred. Two hundred was. Oh, that was Charles. Oh, oh, so yeah. he, was here for, he was here for 100. 100. Yeah, 100. That, with that crazy episode, 100. you came in for a few minutes. Like and 15 minutes, yeah, yeah like, we got you. No, like there was balloons, minutes. yeah. I made love to some chick that was there, I remember. Not at the uh, not at the you, domicile. Kelly, Was it Kelly K against the Logan Paul G-Wagon? Do you know that, that happened? That? No. Are you fucking around? I am not. I am not. At all. With you. I'm not joking with you at all. Dog. <laughs> I don't know who the person was, though. This story it, just came out. Wait, last, I just saw this on yeah, a podcast four days yeah. ago. Uh, oh, yeah, oh what a it. weird callback, dude! You, li whoa, that was really weird. And you I, didn't know they brought this up? No, I don't know if they. Well, she brought this up. It wasn't. I don't think that was me. I uh, this was. I don't know who this was. Uh, about four days ago, this story broke mm -hmm. that this girl, uh, who was an audience member on that particular episode of uh, uh, Impulsive, because we live streamed episode one hundred, um, afterwards. Uh, hooked up with This is what she said Hooked up with MGK um, On the back Of My G-Wagon Like like I, yeah. I would assume You know I know the layout of that thing pretty well I'd assume she was hanging off the uh, The ladder on the back like yeah. Almost almost like up And he was standing He's a pretty tall guy She's yeah. a pretty short girl It's probably something like that mm. Anyway <laughs> but, but that So that's not the girl you were talking about I don't think so This girl was at a different This girl was diff, A different day I met this girl at the Vicin at the vicinity at the oh environment oh, oh you're serious serious yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah why would so you all of oh. our guests that they just fucked our audience <laughs> yeah. members what oh, the fuck? I didn't know this girl came on to me <laughs> what the fuck? 
<laughs> this girl Wait, started. If he showed you a picture, no. would you be able to re remember what she looks like? I don't know Dog. if I would be able to. If he showed me a drawing, maybe. That I think is it was fun. a blurry day. <laughs> <laughs> like a police sketch? You want to yeah. see a sketch of your fucking romantic yeah, yeah. partner? That's but wild. yeah, she seemed like a... I mean, I remember Def. She was a nice girl, I remember. Yeah, I mean, it was just kind of one of those things where, you know, you talk to someone for a couple of weeks and hook up, and then it kind of goes away, you know, just regular life. Kinda. It's sad, man. Does that, does that depress you when that happens? Let me think for a second. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it does when you're like, oh, they're just because usually it's because I like nobody's ever ready to like really settle down unless like they've been busted by the cops or something real heavy's happened, you know, or if Christ, had, you know, really got him by the neck. <laughs> then nobody's ever ready to like just stand in the mud. Everybody's <laughs> like, you know, like kind of just uh, just on all the terrain at all the times, you know, I do. I feel exactly what you're saying. Nobody's really ready for it especially in la yeah, especially not in, in la, LA. Dude, doing? too much good stuff like if you're getting carted off by the sheriff yeah i love you I, i'm here you know yeah. what i'm saying that's when it's time to settle on down yeah. I, I hear you on that one yeah so that so fizzled out after 100 episode 100 huh? yeah i bet it fizzled out before 103 <laughs> damn i bet it fizzled out pretty quick <laughs> they were yeah. shooting two at, at that time that was a week and a half brother Oh damn, well, damn well, yeah. So man, it was a pretty it was a quick fizzle. Theo, you inspire me. It was a short wick, man. I look at you and I look at that beautiful mullet flowing behind your head. And I envy you. Go deep, fam. I'm you jealous. Can get one. You, you really you really got that Louisiana blood running running through your your veins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do, man. You always been from there? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure my blood originally is from somewhere else. Nicaragua, I've heard. My father's Nicaragua. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. You, you have wait, Irish. Wait, actually? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. He's just throwing are those you, curveballs Whoa, today. are you 50-50? Are you Fuck yeah, my dog right here, huh? <laughs> this little sand animal over here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm Let's get it up, man. No, but for, for real, you're 50-50. Uh, no, I'm 24, 25%. Okay. Okay. One quarter. Okay, okay. And then native, you got some native in you, too. My grandmother's Nicaraguan, yeah. Native, but it's some Native American, I heard. As I got well. a little bit of, uh, yeah, I want to say, uh, maybe, not pigeon, I don't know what it was. Pigeon. Or whatever it is, pigeon Indian or something. Is that a real pigeon? Thing? Somebody's pigeon toad, I think. I don't know. <laughs> dude, we're Native American, dude, you know? <laughs> Who isn't Native American? Not me, not, I tried. I'm I tried to get all the benefits, and it doesn't, it doesn't work out. I'm in Arizona, everybody was Indian, they got the coolest benefits, and I was oh, like left yeah? out. Like a four hundred one k or something. Dude, no, they get like you get. You don't have to pay for colleges. You don't have to pay for like hospital bills. Oh, that's yeah. just being a Democrat, I think. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it's called? I don't know what it is. I haven't seen. Yeah, I don't know where you're from, but it's like, yeah, that's just that's something different that they're doing now. I think. But listen, I bring up the Louisiana thing because uh, I'm I'm really fascinated by your come up. I I think we like mentioned this a little bit, but uh, a lot of stuff you talk about is just uh, anecdotes from your childhood. Yeah. Did, did you have like a, a fucked up? Childhood. I think we just grew up in an area where it was like a lot of, um, you know, a lot of rules that, you know, a lot of rules get bent when you get, when things get a little more poor. You know, we weren't like a redneck. We didn't live in a redneck area. So I've never related really with like redneck culture or anything like that. But we just grew up in like kind of like a rural white area kind of. So you get a lot of like, you know, people just bend in the rule like, uh. Like y'all hunting, y'all 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 get in the back of each other's pickup trucks and quads at, at three a.m. drinking no. beer, shooting guns down there. Not oh no oh you're not. We world, had world. like a lady down the street that was um we had a lady down the street that uh would do um substitute teaching. She was a substitute teacher, and she was like banging like a couple of the kids, and they were like also like mechanics, and then. One of them would like get drunk and chase us around the church, like field in his car, like in a sedan. Yeah. So like, yeah. I, feel like a, I mean, not exact, like not. Uh, I guess like different than what you're saying exactly. So okay, that's but a little that's different yeah, from the quad. Yeah, yeah, but also like, but it's like, a lot of hunt. It's kind of it's almost like hunting. Really, somebody's getting molested. Somebody's hunting. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's <laughs> a lot of like, there's some discrepancy, but it, you know, a lot of. Was that the same guy that made you that made you look at his ball? <laughs> From no, dude, we had this one guy. He used to give us maybe four dollars or something, 
And he made it to look in his ass, bro. And he'd walk about like 20 feet off and hold his ass open. And as long as we looked, we got the money. So just did, shit did, like did that, he, just bored people. Partner? Did he have a partner? Who, who made sure you looked? How could, how could he Who make made sure? sure you got paid? That's what I want to know. He was, gave the money first. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Because yeah. that would be a shitty deal. At a certain point, you were gr you were kind of grandfathered in. If he knew you were going to look, you kind of got the money up front. You were grandfathered in. <laughs> Well, we live by a rest area, dude. A lot of like gay men would meet up back there and make out, you know. And so you'd see a lot of drug, you know, a lot of men on drugs back there. So, all, see, this is what I was talking about. All this is really interesting to me. I didn't have, I didn't have four dollar ass show guy. I didn't have the 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 drug addict. But you so. just not remember it though. That that's sometimes something that I wonder what people are getting is do people remember it? That's a weird thing. Is I think because even some of my best friends, I'm like, dude, do you remember this? And they'll be like. I don't remember that. I'm like, what, bro? How do you not remember? It's like, that's the only thing that happened to us. You know what I'm that's saying? That's it. Like, how do you not remember it? <laughs> Dude, you like, bought a you truck because of this guy. You work at the Holiday Inn Express, like down the street. It's one of the only things that happened, you know? <laughs> you got to remember that, man. So I think some of it's just about remembering stuff, you know? You're actually right. I feel like I kind of would remember if somebody handed me $4 bills to look at their asshole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be something I never. Forget yeah, about. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, but like, I, 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 I hear what he's saying. Like, I, I don't remember maybe people on drugs because maybe I didn't know they were on drugs at the time because I didn't know what drugs were. Oh, you know, true, you know true. I, get like, that, I, I don't get even. That. I, like, maybe I'm just like, I'm a dad, that guy's weird. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He, and he's on cocaine, son. But I didn't know that. Yeah, I think we didn't have anybody. I didn't have any parents like keeping tabs like as to who was weird or whatever. So it was just like if shit was weird, you just were still there being weird with it. Yeah, you got you, you know you got brothers. People were doing a lot of pills. Yeah, I got a brother. And he's good. And um, what else? I got two sisters. You, yeah, it was. What was it like growing up? I mean, it was just like I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to understand you, dude. Like, why? Why? How'd you get to be you? Yeah, you're 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 very unique. You know, your 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 comedic timing's unique. You're a unique personality. Yeah, you got a mullet, and you're smart too. Yeah, I I know how smart. I, I remember it from the last episode. I was like, this guy's tuned in. He just like, you knew facts from some of the most random things ever. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I definitely I feel good about being alive most of the time, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know what was going on in the area. You know, we had a lot of stray animals by us, really. You know, rabies was big, so you had like a lot of fear in the air. Um, I'm trying to think of what else was really popping off. You know, the bus. This dude. Uh, Used to do slip and falls at Pizza Hut. That's how we would make money. Insurance scams. Yeah, yeah. We grew up during like the height of that. Like everybody was doing, you know, this is before, you know, yeah, this is like prank videos, but it was real, you know, <laughs> they would do insurance money for it, you know? A lot of people falling down in Pizza Hut. We had a guy by us and he was working the circuit one year doing the slip and falls and he died. He broke his head open on a salad bar in Sarasota, Cost Florida. Cost of doing business. Cost of doing business. And you want to play have, that game. Yeah. And it was like, and we all had to be at the funeral and shit, dude. And, you know, we're standing there. We didn't, you know, I remember when I would miss the bus, he would take me to school and curse about his son. He would blow cigarette smoke at me and make me do my spelling words real hard. How, how like, much? I got to ask about you. Vietnam. <laughs> how much of this stuff? Okay, so He'd you're like, spelling convenience. And he'd just be blowing <laughs> fucking Marlboro red smoke right into my fucking vision, dude. It's hard. It's hard, man, when you're in a passenger seat. With no seatbelt, I do remember that, and just trying to get the words out, and there's all the smoke. You're Are you dyslexic like like or anything like that? Or? <laughs> nope. It'd be, it'd be a it was, fucking well, a nightmare for me. It was, just, it was, it was hard work. It's hard work. We're just inconvenience. I mean, you know, yeah. these are these are. At that, yeah, hard, you're just, hard work. Yeah, and you're already, you know, you missed the bus. You don't know this guy that well. Oh my god, was he making you spell inconvenience because he had to take you to school? Ooh, Ooh. that'd be interesting. I don't know, and I don't. His relationship with his, with his son wasn't that great. I remember. Maybe he was inconvenienced. Who, it's, yeah. it's it's so crazy how we're fully diving into this random guy's backstory. Yeah, like we're trying to understand him now, decades later. What was, it, what were you saying, Mike? I was just gonna ask him: <laughs> Is all this stuff real? Because 
I, I'm a huge fan of your comedy, and yeah. I'm a huge fan of all your podcasts. I watch a lot of your shit. I saw your episode with Jeff Wittick that came out. He's a friend of mine. Oh yeah, he's a neat guy. Yeah, neat. You know, he's fighting mafioso, someone. Mafioso from the East Coast. He fights with man. the guy Liam. Do you know Liam? Yeah, I do. He's he's he came in my house and ate the chicken from the chef, and he didn't ask her. He just took it off the fucking right off the out of the the fucking yeah. pan. Who did? He got the heavy hand. Liam. Shake. Who's he's, Liam? He's Irish. And he's yeah. he's mobbed up, bro. He told the chef. He said, "I'm eating the chicken. I'm not gonna wait for you to plate it." And everybody got mad because there wasn't enough for little Jay, the the editor. He didn't get to have chicken that night because Liam took it right out of his, <clears throat> right out of the kettle. Yeah, this dude will do raw poultry for nothing. No, honey, you don't even have to pay him. It's not like the butthole guy. He'll just do it for free, dude. He's just yeah, eating this raw meats. Oh, he's tough too. And he shake his hand, and you feel like you can't even, you couldn't even beat that. He sucks the air right out. He gets right in your face, right? Like right in your face, real up close. Like he's gonna kiss you. And... Oh, you shook two hands. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't shake his hand again. <laughs> you break it in two seconds And he's scary It's he's just a, a lot guy. of pressure Him and Jeff together It's like Yeah he shakes your hand There's a diamond in your hand After he <laughs> Fucking that dude is He got some grip on him so, so back to my you question You couldn't handle it bro <laughs> First of all yeah. But you know you couldn't uh, Yo, how much how much of this shit is real? And because you're the king of observational humor, am I really? I, I would say, say that, I would know. I got it. I'm I'm saying. I know you might not say because you would probably observe something and say that instead. Yeah. But I'm saying it. You're you're you you pull these de these details that drive the story into fucking into this beautiful woven uh, network blanket of just times past that yeah. everybody just laughs at. You know. But is it, it does some of does it, the real inspire where it goes or is it all actually? real well you know i think some of it my dad was so old when i dad was in his 70s when i was a kid you know so i think a lot of it was like i would find ways to make whatever was going on seem different than it was mm. but it, but still share what was going on you know like i would be so ashamed to tell people this is my dad you know because he was so old it was like dude he would uh who was I telling them about this the other day? My dad bought this car off some brothers, right? We live around a lot of brothers growing up, right, right. you know? And uh, and they sold him this car, and it had 22s or 28s in the trunk, <laughs> right? And he's 70, at nine, he's 81 or something at this point. And he's driving this car that he got for like $400, <laughs> right? Yeah. And it's fucking just all the stuff he plays on there, it's all like talk radio, like Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> And it's just boom, boom, boom. It's just the weather, like cloudy. Just fucking, it was all just in because he couldn't hear it, so it didn't make any. So nothing. It was just like, and when he would come around, it would just. I was so embarrassed, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, I needed him to love me. So I think like this weird space of like whenever that kind of stuff is going on for a kid, then you, I don't know. You just, I don't know. You just maybe create different ways sometimes to communicate. I don't know. I don't want to talk about me too much, man. What do you guys been up to? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so hard. so it's like an escape, an escape mechanism. You created your own reality. Yeah, but it's still the same reality. I think you just like to really. I don't know. I, I don't know. You you're more likely to maybe find a way to share a moment, or you remember a moment differently because you don't like the way that the moment actually was, maybe. Mm. And so you might keep the moment in a different way inside of yourself because it's a uh, that way at least it feels like something that's it um has value to it maybe i don't know that's deep i yeah, can yeah, i can see I i've done that a few times that, by yeah. Yeah. yeah and i and i don't know man i feel i feel really blessed you know it's funny because if my dad hadn't been so old and stuff then i wouldn't have been a you know w w been around stories if we didn't have a lot of dogs in our neighborhood if we didn't have <laughs> they just busted a gay dude in the woods by my house the other day peeping tom right the cops bring him into the fucking house up on the porch. So now he sees in the hole like unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a fast this is a fascinating neighborhood. Sure, you still live there? No, this is my new name. No, this is like my house in uh, Nashville now. But is that, um, is that is that where you live now? Yeah, I still got my place here. So I'm back. Like maybe I'm a, I use I'm about two and a half weeks there every every month. How how is Nashville? I've I've oh, heard great things about Nashville. It's, it's good, man. It's pretty cool. Last uh, last winter it snowed, and so we everybody went out, out to like the capital and was like. Just like smiling oh, down no this way. hill, just sending it, dude. It was pretty sick. Because yeah. it probably it probably doesn't snow off. No, it does. Uh -huh. it snows about every seven years. So like people are out there, people are fired up. People are out there yelling Jesus Christ and stuff, oh, yeah, and yeah. just fired up. Oh, oh yeah, Jesus <laughs> Christ, we love you, God. Uh, <laughs> that guy's funny. I can see you in the Bible, bro. <laughs> you know, some people might say I, I'm like Peter. 
I could see you in there coming in on a fucking little boat. Yeah. That's awesome. It's so funny because that's how my parents got here. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. Hell yeah, boy. He's he's the he's the religious one on the pod. Oh yeah. You you, you, you talking to the right guy. Good man. He, he loves when they scream at him. We love Jesus. <laughs> He screams back. <laughs> Jesus loves you. <laughs> That's good. So man. I, I need to know more about you. Like, how did you figure out that like this entertainment world was your calling? That's, was it? That's what, what I was gonna say. There's, well, there's, I said it. So, but I was gonna say. No, it but little, I said it. No, it's it's good. It's <laughs> no, it's good. I just want to. I'm trying to understand the timeline of Theo Vaughn. So I got yeah. MTV. We did. We did. So, yeah. Yeah. So there's that middle part. Right. When you first started in the come up. When, like my friend just said, I'm I'm, sh I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know what it is. I mean, I, I mean, what? So like, I'm sorry. yeah, I don't know. I got, I mean, I just, I got out of Louisiana. Well, I wasn't going to school in Louisiana for what? For liberal arts, urban planning. I'm urban planning. <laughs> You're trying to like God, grow weed or something? What are you planting? No, no, no we just. We design neighborhoods, dude. We design neighborhoods. <laughs> dude, are man. you being serious? Yeah, I'm urban planner, man. Like you, if there was a sewer system that needed to be put in a place under a playground, you'd be the guy, guy for the job. Or I wouldn't do that. I could handle like where the like what the route the mailman should take, <laughs> and like all kind of zone like basic. Hey, but you never think about that shit. Yeah. No, I know. You never. I know. The urban I planner. Okay. My man. Yeah. And please, can you fucking time stamp that high five and take it out? <laughs> dude, people will repent if they like. <laughs> Children will repent to Satan. <laughs> All the sledding in Nashville will stop. Yeah. It'll come to a oh, fucking dude. quick yeah. halt. The snow will melt. The plants will die. Of male seed. <laughs> so, if people see that high five, man. So the timeline Praise that God, I, I have for you right now is uh, uh, child that was growing up, rabies was a thing. Four dollars yeah. for a butthole look. Uh, you and your father had different views, but you made it work. Uh, you started designing ways for mailmans to get to the neighbor's house. I mailman, could do mailman. it. You could do it. And then what was that moment where you were like, yo, I could do this. I'm an entertainer. Where was this at? Man, I don't know where you decide you become a stand-up comedian. I mean, I don't know. That, so I think it's when you're a kid, when you're like with the kids at lunch and you just... Well, the only thing that made me feel good, I know... Um, I didn't. I just didn't trust a lot of people when I was young, you know. So if people would laugh, then I knew when they were laughing that they had to like me. It was like that one moment where it was oh. like, if they're laughing, there's no way they could be laughing and shaking and making this like oh. joyous sound, and not, and 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 not like me at the same time. It's, so that's why I needed it. I just needed to feel safe. So the only time I did, I think, was when people laughed. Not to make it kind of deep, but I think that's really what I what I. You're thought. very deep. You throw on some you know. subtle, deep thoughts, man. I don't think it's they're subtle. Yeah, yeah, they're hidden. Know? What if, what if <laughs> no, I told you today, no. fucked you up bad, and told you that they were all laughing because they were out of fear? They were scared shitless of you, man. Like, they didn't want any trouble. Oh, really? So they were just, they were like, he's really not you, that fun, but I don't, want, I don't want any yeah. shit with that guy, dude. I like no, that. I, 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 feel, I feel what you're saying. Laughter is so, like, indicative of, like, the true nature of how someone feels about you, mm -hmm. you know? And so if, if, right. If, if you ever, get them to laugh, you then you have them. Then you're with yeah. them on a certain little yeah. space. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. That's why I started making people laugh when I was a kid. Really? It's because there was. You know, it's so funny. My teachers actually had to sit my mom down and tell her to tell me to stop making fun of myself. I would beat people to the punch. I was already funnier than the kids around me, so I was like, I could tell the joke that they're gonna make fun of me, but even better. Wow. And I made it about myself. So I was like making fun of myself, like really, really self-deprecated myself. Like, yeah, yeah, you took the wind out of their sails. Damn. Yeah, but they enjoyed it because they were like, fuck, it's better than how I would have delivered it. It's all about timing. And, uh, <laughs> and sometimes I'd hurt myself. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never did any tell, physical humor. Tell, I just tell like feel more humor. about comedy. And how to do it. So what you want to do, right? <laughs> so you might not know anything about this. <laughs> uh, no, not know. not but with no. We seem like a charming guy, man. You seem like people would like you no matter what. Oh, you know? I appreciate that. So yeah, that's true. You're very likable. Yeah, you would get like you're like hitchhiker, dude. You do a great. Oh, Easy. hitchhiking. You would travel everywhere. You know, it's so funny. I cringe every time I hear the word uh, hitchhiking because I watched him. I I grew up in my dad's liquor store. Mm -hmm. Shocking, Middle Eastern man liquor store. Okay, but I'm um, in this liquor store and my dad's in the cooler and I'm watching a movie. And I saw this girl go like this, and she got a ride. And then, you know how, like, in the movies, they flash, and yeah. she's, like, in the next fucking city. And I'm like, dude, this is fucking sick. All I have to do is this? <laughs> so I go outside. Mind you, my dad's liquor store's in the hood. Yeah. And I go like this, and some dude pulled over to, like, pick me up. And my dad beat the fuck out of me. When I mean beat the fuck out of me, like, 
If anybody saw the way he beat the fuck out of me, he'd be in prison. 100%. Oh, dude, I'll tell you this. So, somebody got a CB radio by us, you know? So, this one lady that used to do substitute teaching, right? Her son was had like a, his mouth was always real slippery. He had like a kind of a salivary deal. Disorder. I wouldn't say disorder. Okay. <laughs> but he had like a... It's, it's a deal. He was missing a gasket on one of the edges. <laughs> I would say that. Just leaking. <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. Like you wouldn't fucking... If he leaned his head to one side, dude, you're going to have to dry him up, you know? <laughs> so this fellow one time named Michael was his name. And he... Uh, so anyway, his mom would hook up with his boy, Clint. Like Clint, but with an N in it. Was it how he said his name when people would be like Clint, like Clint, but with an N in it? You're like, that's a, that's a way to do it. Anyway, so his mom would make us stay out in his car when they, she would come over and they would hook up in the in the house. So he had a CB radio, right? So he was 16. He's in there hooking up with the with the teacher. Uh, we'd be on the CB on the ham radio, just you know, kirk, 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 you know, <laughs> you know, pigeon the fucking you know hospital or whatever, you yeah. know, and. Uh, and so some dude comes off the interstate, right, one day in a semi-truck into our neighborhood. This guy ended up being a pedophile. We didn't know. Me and fucking Slip, fucking Lip Michael, <laughs> were in his truck. He fucking making us eat Tootsie Rolls inside of his truck, right? The guy who is getting, who's inside with Michael's mom comes out, sees what's going on, and beats the shit out of the dude, man. Oh, my oh, God. God. The Wait, the dude's feeding you candy? Tootsie yeah. Rolls. Doing how much Tootsie Rolls we could fit in our mouths. And we didn't know. You was ate, it like a you test? Ate the, you ate the candy. I didn't. I mean, I had uh, probably four in my mouth. I had a small mouth. Oh, no. That, How many was in his <laughs> mouth? I like have yeah. a small mouth, but I've always had a small throat, so I'm afraid to have a lot in my mouth at once. You ever choked? Oh, yeah, man. I choked in a uh, hallway. Yeah. <laughs> bok choy? Was it bok choy? Oh, my no. God. The one of the most oh chokeable my foods God. on the planet. Really? Well, yeah. How, yeah, how many deaths is bok choy? Yeah, what is I, bok choy? How many it's a, videos? It's, it's, a it's root, a, like a long, like, rooty vegetable. With they put squid like tentacles. In soups. My sister, oh, wow. she was once, we were at a, a family dinner and she started choking on some bok choy. And I had, in front of everyone at the restaurant, I, I had to reach into her, in her, in her throat and, and pull it out. Ooh. And it slimed out, dude. This, it was she, this long. Was no. You were there? Yeah, no. no. I told him about it. I told him it was disgusting. And I saved my sister's life. And that's when she forgave me for all the times I cut her hair as a kid. I oh, that's spoke, beautiful. Yeah, that's was better a, than some movies I've seen recently. <laughs> you ever save a life? Um, yeah, I think so, man. Some guy, uh, wait, or did I almost, I, may, I think I almost drowned. That's what happened. <laughs> Other, so yeah, I was almost a victim. I almost drowned. Well, did you save your own life? No, I didn't. A man saved me, dude. A fucking <laughs> dude, bro. This topless guy jumps in, right? I did not even want him to save me. The second I saw the dude who saved me, I was fucking so embarrassed. What, what do you mean, topless guy? Uh -huh. Was it a he was lifeguard? A topless guy. Well, no. like most guys he was a guy topless. at a beach. He was at the beach, but uh, the way he was built, he just looked topless. He had no top. <laughs> the way it was, was a long, was long was just underwater legs. for you to confuse the fact that you saved somebody's like life? 40 seconds, man. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my sister were under there. And then years later, I remember him coming back to our house all drunk one night and saying, I saved y'all. I fucking saved y'all. We're like, what? Well, I can't fucking remember who he was, dude. We're like, bro, we have, like, we're trying to get molested by this trucker over here, okay? Eat Give us some rolls. space. But the crazy part of that story was the kid, the the guy Clint, he was getting molested by the lady. Then yeah. he comes out and saves us from him. So it's just there it was always this weird circle of life going on in this area, you know, just growing up in that environment. Did you want to get out? Did you have a, a dream of? Yeah, because I was just scared there all the time. I didn't have like a role model, like a male role model, or you know that kind of thing. So I think I was in fear a lot. That's why I think I look up to a lot of guys that are like UFC guys, boxing. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, you're a big fan. You're, you're yeah. friends, with, friends with a lot of the guys. I'm a big fan. Yeah, a couple of the guys I'm I'm pretty close with. Or I feel lucky to at least get to know you know about like how their mentality. You know mm. enough to kind of mm. get a little peek inside of some of their mentality. Not as much as Andrew Schultz. He's got it figured out. Oh, he's got the it head of the combat sports the commentator. All, Nobody yeah. knows more about combat sports than Andrew Schultz. I would not be surprised if he fucking sends a video from space one day, man. He would just <laughs> happens to be there. You know, he's one of a kind, man. <laughs> he's a real yeah he's so confident i really admire that about him he's positive about that position too like he yeah. knows more than any trainer any any coach ever <laughs> he's undefeated isn't his, his tour undefeated yeah yeah he's crushing yeah
A lot of your friends are, bro. Yeah. Y'all all are. Y- y- yeah. Even you, bro. We're all doing good, man. You're, you're, yeah, you're, we're selling you're good special, tickets, you're man. Special, special just out on. Uh, yeah, it just came out. It's amazing. Yeah, it's doing. Regular people. It's doing well. Is it, it's Netflix. Yep, on dude, Netflix. Dude, that's Congrats. huge. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah. Thanks. Damn. Thanks, man. Yeah, it feels exciting. So, how does that? Hey, how does that work? Like uh, producing a Netflix special. I, I, I've always been curious about this because whenever you see, you know, the comedian's Netflix special, it's it's. It's but it's perfect, you know. It's a it's a it's a really yeah. beautiful piece of art. So they, h- it, how long does it go into uh, perfecting that sixty minute set? And then how yeah. how many times do you shoot it? And then do they choose one or do they intercut? Do they cut jokes? And I'm curious about all of it. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's a lot. <laughs> it looks like no, John I feel. I know. You. I, I believe well, you. Okay, just they, the, the look you just. That one. <laughs> oh really? Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Can you show them what you what the look was? <laughs> Let me see if I can. Just when he looks at you, mainly. Because <laughs> you were just hitting him with so <laughs> many words. He was against the ropes. Yeah, it was. Well, fucking fucking Andrew Scholes was in the background about to call the fight. I was like Woodley out there, man. <laughs> Jesus. They, why'd they dress him up like that? What was even... I shouldn't talk. I, that's wrong of me to say. I mean, the guy's tougher man than I am, man. Both those guys. Uh Yes. But yeah, what about it? Uh, they give you a certain amount. You make your agent makes a deal. They give you a certain amount, you know. So then they give you a certain amount. You have to use a certain amount on the special, and what you don't use, you keep. You uh, uh what what's used? Like, how, where's that money spent? spent? Like you, you know, you get a producers, and they then they get the directors and everything. They use all of them. They use the money. Now, they don't use all of it, but they use like you may, you in advance. You say, look, let's try and use this much. And then and then then you go on tour. Yeah, then you go on tour with it. So okay, yeah, like I got rich, man. We got a bunch of cities. We've been on tour most of this fall. Okay, so and, most and of the you, weekend, and you shoot all of them, and then no, 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 you just shoot a couple nights in one place for the special. And you wear the same out. Do you wear the same outfit? Yeah, you get different, same outfit, but different um, items. <laughs> like so, prop, different props. No, like, one <laughs> shirt, same shirt. You know what I'm saying? So like two of the same. Yeah, two of the same. You're shirt. not because you're not all sweaty from the night before. Yeah, dude. I mean, does one of us have uh, autism? This is the most insane. Uh, <laughs> two of the same shirts. I mean, Sorry. you gotta give it to him like a riddle. He was like sitting there, like, so all right, I have like, one so shirt, but it's the same, but it's two. Twice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I have two not... shirts the same that are one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like answer now, you fucking die. <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah. No, but I'm not doing well. Mike. <laughs> this is, but it parlays into a question that I've had in the tucked in the back of my cranium. He this loves whole saying show. parlay. Yeah, I he do because yeah, I yeah. always miss all just my as much parlays. as I like to preference things. <laughs> preference. <laughs> oh, yeah, preference. It's called it's called preface. Nah, it's dude, called that's preference. cool. You guys are such good friends. Are you guys always pretty good friends? I know you guys have been friends for a long time. You know, yeah, we're friends for a while. Then we get in like fights. We get in a lot of fights, a lot of back and forth. A lot but of that's push, most friends, isn't it? Pull. That's what. Yeah, I think, I think when yeah. you get to, I think I mean, bro, we've been friends for se- like six years. Like, like fuck this guy <laughs> half the time. <laughs> no, not half. One person, one percent. I was gonna say forty nine percent. That's so way too high. Do you think <laughs> is one of you guys harder to be friends with than the other guy? Do you think? Is it Logan? Is it you? Yeah. Do you feel, and you might you might know it's you. I know sometimes I'm the tougher guy sometimes to be friends with. Yeah, yeah, it's awareness. I, I've, awareness. Been, I've been called a selfish friend before by I'm the by, by a good friend, not, not not in a bad way. Just like he's like, hey, I just want like you you know, your friends give more to you than you give back. Well, well, it's in like, certain ways. I mean, I think hurts. everybody has positives. Everybody has strengths and weaknesses. You know what I'm saying? He's given me every a ton of shit. You but, know what yeah. I'm saying? But in a different in a different way. Like sometimes you just want a friend to say, yo, I really love to talk to you right now. That's not necessarily him, but he also is a he's a fucking kingpin of a fucking life-changing organization so like you know everybody gives a little something different and the value you know goes in different directions you yeah know? but he but he obviously supplies more than most yeah you can't go to freaking you know donny cadbury or whatever and freaking want to talk about <laughs> you know recipes you know what i'm saying or he's like doing tony, big business like tony soprano yeah you, you ain't can't gonna go to tony, tony soprano, soprano and, and say about... my cat died let's please i need someone to, yeah. a shoulder to cry and you right. go to christopher maltasanti for that instead right toy this he's tony soprano you know what i'm saying yeah i mean yeah but if you're you know you're good friends you talk to him about anything right um, it's tough though when your life is very busy it is tough That's... to find moments of peace where you're even in a in a settled enough state to i think absorb uh, sometimes the the reality of like uh, of a lot of things, I think. Mm. You know what you did to me back there with the different shirts. You do it a lot. 
Do you find yourself running circles circles around people? Because even even sitting with no. you for a few minutes, I, I I'm exhausted. I and, think and we were I all mean tired that, when yeah. we got here. I felt like, <laughs> you seem like pretty. You're doing good. I drink your blood, dog. Honestly, look at the light. Please <laughs> don't. Too. Wouldn't you the light in his eyes, too, bro? Yeah. This he's little always, sand Christian, bro. Sip right out of this fucking bastard. You know why? Because huh. Jesus loves me. Is he? Does he really? <laughs> I believe that, man. I drink his blood, and then then you want to drink <laughs> mine. See how that works? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's Christian AIDS, bro. Okay. <laughs> I and I believe in Christian AIDS, man. I would get it. I would get it. Would you get it? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. Boo, 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 boo me, boo. boo. Everybody's pissed, dude. Dude, put that fucking joke away. Um, <laughs> you haven't taken it out of the thing. It's a new one. Huh? What else, man? Are you gonna go? To, so, are you gonna go to space? Do you think, Logan? Because I was, I was thinking about that. They're doing that now. They're doing that. I know. I, I, I am gonna go. Yeah, I'd like to go. It's on my bucket list. I don't want to die on this planet, dude. Really? I don't want to, like, for real, for real. I don't want to die on this planet. Damn, that is a very rich thing to say, I feel like. <laughs> 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 you know, it really is. I don't want to die with these <laughs> poor peasants. The rest of us are trying to find quarters <laughs> in our car to get that air machine to fucking fill up our tire at the gas station. And this guy's like, I'm not done on will- this planet. Yeah. I feel you though, dude. We'll be well, we'll be down here. Dying. <laughs> there he is. In an Austin Hooper jersey. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Yeah. You have other people that say, I don't want to die in this neighborhood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the projects. I gotta get out of here. He's trying to leave to go to Mars for a fucking funeral that no one could go to. <laughs> Who's gonna attend that? Jeff Bezos. There'll be somebody out there, dude. <laughs> There'll be somebody out be, there, a couple of pervs. Andrew Schultz. Schultz. Yeah, Schultz pervert. would be out there. Yeah. <laughs> Who would be at that dinner, dude, at that last <laughs> Saturn supper, huh? Who would be out there on that thing? Bezos, Musk. Rogan would be there. Rogan would <laughs> be working the Traeger out there. Yeah, Rogan have an apron on. Hunting a space Bare elk. ass showing out of space the back. Elk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Eating fucking moon meats. <laughs> Doing What's it called? The Ivermectin? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, it cured him. That guy. That uh, was a wild one. Thank God for him, man. Got to protect him, yeah? Yeah, but just thank God for, you know, thank God for freaking podcasting. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Could you imagine? Oh, my God. <laughs> having oh my to go God. on the news and talk about something? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, bro. I would pay somebody to look at my asshole if I had to do that, man. How much? Children. That's who. Oh, huh? <laughs> but only in my family. <laughs> and only in my neighborhood, dude. Only to give back to the community. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need like a to Venn diagram. Back what was for, given to you. Yeah, to give back what was given to me, man. Just you got to keep going, man. You got to give back to your roots, man. How, how long did you, uh, how long ago did you start podcasting? I started about five years ago or six yeah, years. Yeah, you you've been ago. on the wave. Yeah, I've been on. I mean, I was you know I, I I started with with a friend of mine named Matt Weiss, and uh and we had a podcast that was about like um Hollywood type stuff, but mm. it just didn't pick up any steam. And we had we had really neat guests and stuff. It was like on TMZ all the time, but it wasn't like my heart just wasn't in it. And then I walked out of Joe Rogan's one time and I was like, Oh, I want to do something more like this. Mm. I want to talk about just whatever I want to th- yeah, think yeah, about. Yeah. Which is, and that's what I started doing then. And yeah. then I just started at home and now I'm lucky, man. It's a fun space now. And you get to have your people come on. You want to share time with it really you know? is. It really is fun. There's, there's a lot of freedom to do what you want and say what you want. Um, and it's, it's crazy. Cause we're again, only 300 episodes in and I look at like you and Rogan, and y'all are like experts or, or vets in the space. And it's it's cool to see how it's grown. I wonder what's harder to break into now, though, if for people starting. Because, dude, come on. Everyone's trying to do podcasts now. Yeah. And and it, this is a tough space to grow. Like you said, it, the first thing you tried was hard. Yeah. And listening to people is hard. So how 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 do people break in if they don't know what their niche is? Yeah, I think sometimes just trying to share what's going on with you. I think not having a plan. Sometimes one of the problems is after a certain point, there's too much material in a space where you can't help but imitate it. Mm. 
Mm. Until so that's why a new thing has to come wow. along. You gotta disrupt. Wow. Yeah. That's you crazy. gotta have it or you have to have that new thing that comes. So it's all that's not you're just waiting for that new thing. Dude, it's like you're so that really well said. I cause because every time thanks, man. No, that was you're right. Every time I see a um whether it's a, a project, a person, a podcast, uh blow up, it it, it 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 really it makes sense. It it that makes sense. It, it's like while that person was always meant to be there in that niche, that area hasn't been filled, and here they are to like, and that's why they're there. Like it, it usually never surprises me. I'm like, I can see a little bit how that works. Yeah. Um, after the after the, it, the fact. It, exactly. Yeah, like there, there, there's always some unique some something where again, it's so saturated. Everything is how how do you know what is you creating and not what you're seeing just being regurgitated with how you create. Yeah. Whoa. Well, that's the biggest fear, I think, of a lot of us of us with anything. I think it even goes from like the way we see like people love each other as children, like our parents or something, and then we create the same type mm -hmm. of thing. Like mm -hmm. it's so hard to lean into whatever feels like is exact, like what you really want to be doing, just the judgment. And now there's so much judgment. It's like, God, that ju it used to be there's so much less judgment. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. looked at some guy's asshole yeah. for a couple bucks. The <laughs> only person judging was the one dude sitting next to you. But he also looked. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? But he but but now it's like the judgment sphere is so is it, do you big. Think do you think there's more judgment or do you think the efficiency for which we can see it is so much greater? You know what I'm saying? Because the judgment, what if the judgment was always there, but it existed around dining room tables with families talking about the show and saying that show fucking sucked. We should cancel this guy. Now, anytime you have any opinion, it's available for the entire world to see on social media. You know what I'm saying? So is it the judgment or the vehicle, the, the amplification, the amplification. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it's. Do you think we're more judgmental people in 2021 than than you know butthole Louisiana times? Mm. You know that's a good question. Are we more judgmental now? I don't. Do you do you feel like do you feel more judgmental? No, I think when you have access to things, it just shows who you are more. So if you have more money, you could become either a bigger piece of shit or a nicer guy. So if you give somebody the power to comment on any fucking thing he wants to and get hide behind like a screen, then he's yeah. going to let that shit fly, bro. Yeah. Magnifying I, glass. I, I, have a, I have a take on judgment in general and being judged because yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm judgy. I, I make uh, judgments. Criticisms. But I, I, I consider them assessments. And with those assessments, then I deduce and I'm decide what to do yeah um, and I, I i think that's nothing more than human nature i really don't yeah that's true what 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 the problem is is people's judgments become their sole reality they make a judgment oh, in it. and that's boom set in stone mm. I'll, I'll judge the fuck out of you it well, means nothing i still have the most open mind and i am willing to watch you shape the more i get to know you because as we all know, the more you get to know people, it's like you peel back their layers and you mm -hmm. see like who they really are. And yeah. how, how often, I mean, again, judgments are natural, but just don't let them decide how you move and treat people. I That's think really it's hard to not yeah. keep them eternal. I think it's hard to, yeah, like, may, yeah, maybe we keep them too. Like, you know, you judge them and then you get stuck there. We've made, we've got, it, it's hard like to have fun sometimes because it's hard to make fun without like, People always accuse you people of other people of shaming. I find myself doing like you see something happy, like oh, there's but really sometimes people are just joking around. I don't know, man. It's all it's gotten all a little bit blurry, I think. A, a, a little bit, yeah. There's a lot of sensitive people too. Yeah. Very sensitive. I'm sensitive, man. But I think, also I like talking shit. But comedy <laughs> comes from dark places. Yeah. So if you remove the comedy, then you're just stuck in a dark place. Mm. The Damn, line, the, dude. <laughs> He's, God, he's bro. a poet. We need a commercial break right here, bro. We need to freaking talk about. We could throw an ad in. Blue those blue chew ivermectins, up, dude. Yo, they they got to put ivermectin in these blue <laughs> chews, dude. What are they doing? <laughs> you know? Do we have a blue chew ad today, Danny? Yeah. Wow. Oh, Speaking dude. of, <laughs> we interrupt this program to bring you an ad at the perfect time. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Say it with us, Blue, blue Chew. chew. Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and longer lasting erections. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable form, not a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of ED. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so there's no visits to the doctor's office. 
no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy, and it ships right to your door in a discreet package. Process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers. Once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And here's a special deal deal for our listeners. Try BlueChew free when you use our code LOGAN at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code LOGAN to receive your first month free. We thank BlueChew for sponsoring the podcast. Back to the episode. <laughs> they work, man. They, they really do. Beautiful company. Yeah, they really do. And I'm kind of cheap, so I'll even just nibble off a little bite if I'm not going to have a whole one. <laughs> Ration. You know? Ration your blue chew. Yeah. I you, mean, go, you, go, you go camping? To have a whole one? Outdoor activities? Oh uh, Yeah, I like to do outdoor fishing right now. Oh, cool. Fly fishing regular? Uh, I like to fish regular. Mm. I just started learning a lot about fishing recently. You follow Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Uh-uh. No way. I don't think I follow him. That surprises me. He's, he's big into fishing. Is he? Big bass guy. Ooh. Yeah, he feeds his bass in the stream and... No way. Yeah, he, he goes out and feeds them? Big time, big time. Yeah. He, Damn. He's For like years, he's been like marinating these bass for him to catch, um, take out, kiss on his Instagram, then put back. Ooh, that's like very Samoan. <laughs> no, see, is it though? Is it? I feel yeah, like I it is kissing yeah, a fish. Uh, yeah, that sounds like it would be. Uh, kissing a fish, that, that, it seems like is, very yeah, yeah, that is. little mermaidish or, you know, kind of, <laughs> yeah, that seemed like a real, <laughs> something you would do in a real beach community. Yeah. Who who, who you look up to in the space? Do you have like a hero? In what space is it? In what entertainment? Entertainment? Medium. <clears throat> I don't know, man. That's a good question. Betty White. Mm, beautiful. Shaq. Ooh, I love Shaq. Yeah. He's the best. It's Dude. hard not to look up. I had his him. album. Yes. Well, I had his freaking rap oh, album. Oh yeah, that's right. The Sha- rap. Shaq made a rap oh yeah. Album. Yeah, when he was on the Lakers. Uh. Dude, Whoa. we had this pedophile dude in our town, right? <laughs> Big Richard. <laughs> you don't say. He used to bait us all with autographed Shaquille O'Neal stuff to come yeah. and spend time. How did he get that? How did he get that? Was they, were they fake? I don't know if they were fake. We were, you know, we'd never seen anything signed by Shaq. We were so excited. Now, obviously, they were fake. Well, it could have been a conspiracy, like he was working directly with the Orlando Magic at the Dude, time. Shut up! I mean, shut you never up, know. Shut up. <laughs> Big Richard, dude, and I remember. What are you talking about? He, you said he baited you. What did you do with this bait? He would like show, you know, we used to go by his house and get stoned. He was a substitute teacher, right? And he was also 78 years old. Was like, there any real teachers? Way too old. This? <laughs> <laughs> Is there any real, like, were they all just like part-time teachers? Part-time should be in jail? Like, what the fuck is happening right now? I'm going to do my, my Andrew Souls impersonation. <laughs> Uh, no, man, I'll tell you, bro, there's that a lot of herb. Dude, it's the bottom of the, where the Mississippi ends, man. It's where that, it's very silty alluvial soil down there, man. Go. I'm saying there's a lot of fucking sands in the soil, baby. You know what I'm saying? There's just a lot of all fucking. The substitutes end up. A lot of blurry <laughs> diamonds, go down though. the Mississippi. Yeah, yeah, a lot of blurry <laughs> diamonds, bro. You'll crack an oyster and find a damn eight ball in that bitch, though, you know? It's that kind of town. I, I seen I seen substitutes heading south with the little oh, yeah, stick yeah, on their back. Yeah, yeah. Just, just by, by the way, every hitchhiker you see, yes. substitute. 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 Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Only thing they have in their knapsack is just Bro. like a history book, <laughs> books, notebooks, <Bro>, yes. <laughs> and tootsie rolls. <laughs> Now you got me f- bursting with substitute teachers. So Big Richard, bro, he invited us over, right? So I go over there and smoke. One, he invited me and my girlfriend over. We met him at church, right? So I was like, oh, this is Big Richard who teaches us science sometimes, right? Yeah, yeah. And my girlfriend's like, what? And she couldn't turn her neck that good, actually, I remember. But <laughs> she, had like a- she had, I think, early... Uh, What's it called when you get like stiffness in your back? And like neck? arthritis. Yeah. Early onset arthritis. Childhood EOA, arthritis EOA. or something. Yeah. Wow. So she would always be like that. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Oh, you made it like Thriller, Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, <very laughs> much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So me and her though went over to Big Richards, bro. So next next time next time he said, hey, "Well, we want you to just come next time and watch a, watch a football." I said, "Okay, Big Richard, I'll come over." So I go over there, he, he breaks out some weed, right? I'm like, I smoke weed, sure. and, you know, I'm a child, I smoke <laughs> So next thing you know, we're puffing out, you know, getting gassed out with Big Richard, baby. And uh, he told me, bring your buddies over, bring your buddies. So now me and all my buddies are over there. And then he took us to a Marilyn Manson concert, bro. <laughs> like, he got, somehow he knew somebody or whatever, he gets us, we're 16 years old, we're at Marilyn Manson. 
like uh we're fucking living our yeah. dream yeah. yeah so one time we're over there eating steaks at his house and my buddy scotty is in the other room and uh i went in the kitchen to get something and and it, scotty yelled at me he goes hey man can you get me some sour cream because i had a baked potato come with a sure. side item sure he goes hey can you get me a uh some sour cream and i said no but you can have some of this sweet cream i was oh, joking yeah. semen <laughs> thanks so for then, clarifying that by the way <laughs> yeah so big richard's in the other room bro and i hear him go can i have some <laughs> and that's when all of our brains were just like Whoa. oh no <laughs> bro no. you could feel all oh, fucking no. four of us it, that it were all over started there. to yes. connect oh my god and we're like what are we doing? <laughs> we are high. So then it you became like- You were on a like, date, by the way. If you went to that and then afterwards at steak, you were on a date. <laughs> we didn't think of it, man. That's oh how pedophiles God. get you, man. Because you don't think it's a, a thing. You don't think it's a date. You think it's just <laughs> eating steak at, with a man. When did he bring the shack cards out? <laughs> so then after that, it started getting like, you know, I'll take one of y'all to Vegas if you want to go. Just big offers, you know? And I mean, we're a small town, so it's like, dude, you want to go to Vegas? We'd never even heard, you know, we'd seen a, maybe a drawing of Vegas or somebody scream it or somebody, you know, yelling it while they're beating their wife or whatever, <laughs> you know? But we'd never been to Las Vegas, so everybody, you know, buddy of mine took a trip with him out there. I was oh, going to say, did someone go? Somebody went, yeah. So it's just, you know, that's how, anyway, I don't know how this whole thing got on a pedophilia, but... It seems to always kind of I, I end up say, It kind of seems like the funnel's always... Going right back to, back to the wiener, southern dude. Louisiana. <laughs> well, look. And the rich, though, get into some dark arts, baby. When you get real rich, that's when it gets. That's why you, had your, you use you guys' level. You can probably gonna get invited to some weird stuff. So I believe that there's some real spooky stuff. I believe that people are starting to go to space. I believe there's people somewhere watching us really well, uh, fist fight at freaking Denny's and Arby's. You know, it's yeah, like. It's called World Star. But, or, okay, well, it's <laughs> like. <laughs> like, you ever watched The Twilight Zone? Yeah, yeah, I've watched the Twilight Zone before. What about There's Twilight, a, the vampire series? Well, hold on. There's an episode where the aliens, they come down and... <laughs> the aliens, they come down. It's called um, Nightmare on Maple Street or something like that. Wow. And they come down, they're able to, like, just change little factors in our mm. lives. You know what I'm saying? And make us, like... They turn all the power off in one area of the neighborhood, mainly right around Big Richard's house. Yeah. <laughs> all the lights go off yeah. in the middle of steak night. We're all... We're so <laughs> sheep, bro. We're such sheep. But I like here. that. I, wrote, I like... Bah. I wrote this in my notes. Um, bah. Bah. <laughs> I wrote this in my notes. Bah. Bah. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, while I was hiding in that fucking fridge. Oh, your phone was charged? <laughs> yeah, I, I charged it because I knew I was going to hide. I, I, I took like supplies. Who found you, a man or woman? It was He was a guy. It, it, was, <laughs> it sucked, dude. Ugh. It was at 3 a.m. Oh, it's the worst. And was it a guy like that you could have beat in a fight, you think? Yeah. I, it's, by the way. I considered. You should have done that. Taking Metal Gear scarf solid. in his ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Starching him right then and right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because Zach, mean, I'm, I'm sorry. He's, he's a creator. He's great. Uh, um, but nah, it, I was, since I was on the lookout, I had this perfect spot where I could see them enter this room and then I could go hide in my fridge. I was able to watch people without them knowing that I was watching them. And is it a little weird? Yeah. Yeah. Do I mind it? Absolutely not. It's five hours of just sitting, doing nothing in the fucking dark. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see just people in their natural habitat. Yeah, that's peeping Tom. And it's not people. It's it's a cafeteria. They're just sitting. Down. And by the way, it's not like where else do you think peeping Tom works? Yeah, <laughs> that's mostly where they are. Yeah, dude. You ever seen your lunch these lady these around, these around twelve, around twelve thirty two p.m. after the pizza bumps no, come it's out? It's not children. No, it's we not peeping Tom. It's in children. Peeping Tom is all ages. Yeah, thing. peeping Tom is. Just, I'm a peeping Tom. I mean, if you look through a window at somebody and they don't know you are, then yeah, that's the definition of it. Yep. By the way, I had a peeping Tom in my house, and that shit was so uncomfortable. Really? For Olga's room. Did I talk about this, guys? Have it on see, camera. See, see, I, I'd consider myself different from the guy looking through the window to well, see Well, you weren't masturbating while watching that. Well, you're well, in no, a game, was. though, too. You're Were you? No, no. <laughs> oh, my God. What the fuck? What the fuck? You're... You... George, was, you ever had a George. little fridge wax session? You have any idea how many weird stories I've heard of you guys? I don't know. You were there for a long time. You got you got carried away. You were bored. Brother, I'm not saying you're masturbating because of them. I'm just saying you were trying to kill two birds with one stone. That's how it starts, by the way. You, That's how time starts. You think really? I would? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, what are these guys doing? I'm gonna Stone. masturbate while watching them. That's wild. Then, That's wild, bro. There's a guy on TikTok who almost broke three balloons with one dart. Did you see it? Really? Hey, uh, how did we get here? 
How did you get to that? He drove. You drove, yeah? Do you, have you seen the guy who does... How do I describe this? Someone's going to know exactly who I'm talking about. He does really nifty like chain reaction tricks mm -hmm. while like butt ass naked or using something with his body. Mm. <laughs> oh, the substitute teacher, right? He's a, yes. <laughs> I think he's an Asian guy. Like here, he, yeah. here's one. He'll set up a um, circular disc. Yeah. I know what you're talking and about. Swing think, it, think, and think. he'll go like this, or he'll like, uh, you know, when you pull a tablecloth off a table and the things stay. Yeah, yeah. He'll Magic. like, he'll like clench his cheeks to pull the thing off. Oh yeah. It's a. And so that's you, on TikTok? It's on TikTok. You haven't seen it? I'm stuck on right now getting a lot of like <laughs> people making like small arcs, like float like mm. religious arcs mm. out of wood. And I'm in like Down syndrome chefs, I think. It's I like get, a big I get section. coffee, coffee ratings. But I haven't seen that yet. You get coffee ratings? Uh I don't have that yet. No, it's it's a couple levels. I'm kind of up. excited to see what it's gonna give me at Christmas, do you know? I get I, a lot of uh Tourette's TikTok. Do you? Yeah. Do. You I get do. cartel talk what the at fuck all? Are you guys cartel talking? Your, your cartel algorithm is, is is tailored to what you watch yeah. or what you and, need or, 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 or what, what you, you need, need because, yeah. and it serves you things that maybe you're watching more your watch time on this particular topic is related to more of it so they serve it to you yeah. TikTok's uh, uh, Tourette's TikTok is a big one uh, which one did you uh, like uh, Down, Down Syndrome I have Down Syndrome Chef. Chefs it's a, it's, a, it's a thing like, yeah, cook, like yeah. there's yeah. cooking Sam yeah. and Evan I think are hot so hot right, are a bit you know, popular right now and I've right. been watching them they're the, they're, I think it's Sam and Evan you got it's, 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 it's interesting. I, I did learn about this recently because I, uh, I I left TikTok because I thought it was over sexualizing like young females. Like I, I felt uncomfortable being on the platform. Yeah, well, maybe your algorithm is serving you that. No, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So my, my friend was like, "Yo, you just gotta like things that you enjoy, and then I'll stop doing that shit." Like I, you know, I spent like three hours on my Instagram saying not interested in half naked girls on my explore so page. So what do you get wow. now? Like to potatoes? I get Bible verses and uh, I get like gun stuff. It's like a really weird, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, go it's a very Texas perfect. thing. Two things that'll lead you to freaking <laughs> naked, <laughs> naked children. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm just joking, man. I'm not. That's a great no, fucking that is joke. A great, totally fucking it, true. It's, 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 it's horrifying. A great, it's a great add-on. Unfortunately. Dude, it's dark. Being alive yeah. gets so dark, doesn't it? Jeez. Dude, it's, it's, it can get they can get dark. Jeepers, man. What well, happened? Well, shit, dude. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Yep. What do you got going on this weekend? You big party? You go? You dressing up for Halloween? How, all Halloween? Eve? I don't think I'm going to dress up. I don't know. I've been thinking. I was thinking about being fentanyl or something, you know? Mm, something like. You could just sneak your way in there. Just scary. I'm yeah. trying to be thinking like the scariest thing, yeah. you know? <laughs> uh, well, that right now, that's a big one. Prisons have a lot of good. I've heard some great prison Halloween stories over the years. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. We got a couple of spots. I don't know if I'm gonna stay here or maybe go to to Nashville. I don't know what I'm gonna do really. They got sled in there, down there. Yeah, but not for another couple of months, hopefully. But I don't know, man. What are you guys gonna get into? I'm going to New York. Yeah. Yeah. You, you you go to New York often? I've been there. I was in. I dressed up like a newsy one time in New York for the for. for oh, the, that's um, cool. It was a good outfit. That's a good outfit. That's a good outfit. Pretty easy, yeah. chill. Yeah, yeah. yeah You're yeah. talking about the musical? Yeah, the yeah. newsies. Nice. I thought you the said you dressed up as an Uzi. And a king in New York. Open the gates and seize the day. That was good. Dude, I met a couple of babes, too, from um, Rockford Peaches. A couple... Uh, because of the outfit? Uh, yeah, I think they kind of fancied me a little. They were... Um, them ladies were American baseball women. You know the mm. movie? It's an old movie with Tom Hanks. Uh, yeah, it's it. called uh, a, a field, of, a dream of their own, a field of their own, game of their own, their own game. Game, game of their own. Field of, game, game of, of Thrones. Of game of <laughs> Who are you competing with? <laughs> what, what the fuck is the name of that movie with the, with Madonna? Madonna. Yeah, Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell. That. And by the Gina way, that, Davis. I, dude, I saw her that. bare feet one time mm. at a party. Wow. Angel wow. Stadium. Yeah. Why? She had them. She she took her shoes off. A and game I was of looking. their own. I was looking. Are you a feet guy? Huh? You like feet? I don't really like them. You hate them. I could do without them. I mean, if people didn't have them, I'd be fine. All right. You got a foot fetish? for? I had a no. girl sucking my big toe two nights what? ago. Wait, yeah. what? Really? The other night. Who I hates didn't... themselves that Wait, much? Wait, whoa, whoa. No, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I swear I swear on all things holy. I, she, she said Your she, toes? And I, I asked her six times, please don't, don't do this to yourself. I said, let me shower first. Yeah. You know, and she just was just wanted to put the big toe in her mouth. Dude, my you didn't buddy? even shower first? I asked her. I did it the best I could. I mean, I wasn't going to say no. Because here's my question at the end of the day. Who am I to, to say you your fetish is invalid? My you know what I'm saying? Like she that That's that's the thing nowadays. Yeah. You got to be careful. You know, there was one guy on TikTok that got in trouble because he had a breeding fetish. 
he said, I'm going to put a baby in you tonight. And the girl said, you can't say that. Yeah. But, you know, I mean. I wouldn't say that. creating is a fetish? Yeah, bro, they call it a children? breeding fetish. I oh, oh. I thought it was dirty oh, no, talk. no, 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 no. That one was weird. You saw that, that video? Was, they, they, it, he talked like uh, his dirty talk was like, like yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to impregnate you now. I'm baby you up. Yeah, yeah like, right, but in like, a weird in a, way. Serious, yeah. Yeah. You want this Fully toddler, serious. huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you want to make lunches for a kid in a few years? Yes, yes, he'd yeah. say, yes, that's oh, what he would wow. say. But to yes. me, it wasn't you so, shop so for wrong with No, but that's what I said. You want to shop for small shoes? You want to father this fucking baby? Yeah, huh? You want to buy shirts in a really small size in a couple years? <laughs> you want to divorce in three years when I don't make it? <laughs> but I said, dude, that's not that weird. I Most fetishes I know start with, you know, dude, weapons, my, torture devices. My buddy used to hold. Are you okay? Well, I just mean you ever used it. My buddy used to hold <laughs> his battle girls. axe. A in the battle bedroom. axe or like one of those, you know, the thing where you put somebody on and you stretch them. Oh, like you, uh, you crank them into the meat grinder? No, not a meat grinder. No, no, no. What's it's, a, the medieval tool where you, you strap them Yeah, toffee maker, yeah. I wish yeah. I had that. I would have <laughs> yeah. stuck that in my head. It's like Gumby. You turn your girlfriend into Gumby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you fuck up. She just has one long arm. She just Stretch <laughs> arms, <laughs> dog. <laughs> You know, just, I, I always like Gumby's horse better. I like the you know word pokey. Gumby. You know Pokey? Yes. The horse, yes. The horse yes. he rolled around Dude, with. Uh, <laughs> my <laughs> buddy used to like to hold his girl's tits yeah, while yeah. she would drink like half a gallon of water, bro. Really? For some reason, that was like his fetish, like feeling like... Oh, get hydrated. Like yeah, hydration? there was some like power shit? in it. Yeah. Back I tr I'd give it a shot. I don't know. Who was a wild guy? They were both wild. They used to live, uh, they traveled around for a while, and one of them had like, um, what's that? It's like a skin disorder, I guess. Oh, psoriasis. Eczema? Eczema. Uh, one of those. Or, yeah. And they would make grilled cheeses in their van. They did um, widespread panic. They used to follow the band, you know. Oh, it's a great band. It's like Odessa or like one of those bands, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, Like Rufus. Like you like Mute Rufus guys. Soul? They're about yeah. to perform. You want to go to the show I here like in them. L.A.? Yeah, I would like to. I go got to Shaq it. tickets too. If you do, you really? Oh yeah. <laughs> and I have some, <laughs> <laughs> bro. And then he was the craziest dude. One of my friends that was over there, his dad knew that that guy was a pedophile because he'd like molested other people like twenty years earlier, right? Right, right? So I used to send Christmas cards to my buddy from the fucking dude from Big Richard, and his stepdad would see him and be like, "Oh, your fucking friend is mailing you." <laughs> He wouldn't even like stick up for me. Just like, oh, I see what you're doing, f farting around with these old perverts. Huh? And I would send him like, fucking all these Christmas. It's like the mom and water boy. The mom, you playing that foosball again, Bobby? That's a devil's. That's a devil's sport, Bobby. Dude, but I'm saying, I feel like people are getting so wealthy and stuff these days. They're running out of shit. It's starting to get real Roman time because yeah, yeah. Roman used to do a lot of stuff with. You know, uh, making, uh, doing sex with all type of, you know, youths and like making, fa you know, they used to get real wild well, because we they see, were bored. Yeah, we see that here with some of the, we talk about it sometimes with some of the, the athletes and these guys that have had sex with every woman that was ever produced upon the earth. They got to switch yeah. over to, to men or, or, you know, you know, I, I don't know. canisters of oil. I don't know if I'd ever get that bored that I would just change. Well, we're talking about like put, they putting up yeah, numbers man. by the thousands, George. Yeah, yeah I know, but numbers. like, like pick up a hobby, you know, like do something. That like, is their hobby. I, yeah, that's I don't, their I hobby. don't know. I don't like. I feel like Dan. Dan fucks a lot of girls. I don't. I don't ever see him being like. Well, maybe next time he's on, you should ask him, George. Maybe I will because I actually it's read funny. all of his book. Point blank, of just the fun part. to Dan B's face. And is he a musician? Dan Bazarian, yes. Oh, Dan Bazarian, yeah. yeah. I Last time I checked, he was collecting check cards. Believe it or not. Autograph Shaquille O'Neal cards. What is the funniest <laughs> sex story you have? Because I feel like this is gonna make my day. Me? Nope. You be quiet, Danny. Sounds <laughs> good. Oh, let me think, man. About sex. Mm. Like the most uncomfortable, awkward, or fun, crazy story. I just get like I I get like I'm not real good at sex, right? Mm. So. You know, like, I love getting to sex, but then once you get doing the sex, that's when I really kind of, I'm just kind of, I don't lose interest, but I'm definitely not, like, gung-ho about it. I'm not, like, charting it. I'm not, like, you know, going to stop at the water tables along the way. I'm not going real far, mm -hmm. you know? So it's just, like... A task. I think so. I'm, I'm going to have to think of a good story, man. I've had, like, I get nervous about, like, my butt. I don't want women seeing my butts. So I'll walk out of the room backwards a lot, I notice, about oh. myself. Dude, I do that, too. Um, 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean that was before I was shaving. Now I'm shaved. So I don't really care. I think it was the hair on my butt. Oh, you I shaved did. your butt? Yeah, 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 yeah. How? Did you oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't look away. I'll give you four dollars. Yeah, wow. no, I'll give you four dollars. I'll give you fucking five. Double look nothing. Up. <laughs> you ever had a girl try to invade your territories? Oh yeah, yeah. You get a, girls more adventurous now too. They want to really do it all. Yeah. You know, they want to hide, get in your butt, hide around. Yeah, bro. They think it's an all-you-can-fuck buffet. Yeah, yeah they don't care. It's, it's my I body. Leave something in your butt. Oh, yeah, I left you a little supposed, note. It's not supposed to go there. Yeah, <laughs> I left you know. Graffiti inside of your freaking A message in a boat One of those little yeah. boats That goes in a <laughs> yeah. bottle That you have to instruct and see, Construct inside I hit a Starburst Find I it. just wonder Are we getting pat Like every, I feel like everything's sex I just feel like sometimes It gets like it's all been done But maybe that's just a bad attitude I need to change my attitude You need to you change know? that attitude yeah. Well I mean Or just don't And just ex- I mean explore You know what I'm saying But I mean within the, the boundaries You know maybe set some boundaries For yourself Like but You know yeah. You, sometimes you got to push them a little bit, you know, like group, do some group stuff. You know what I'm saying? Do some, do some. Like, what do you mean? Like swingers, man? Yeah. Well, not even just bring a couple at the same time. You ever tried oh, anything I'll... inverted or upside down? No, no, no. Because I got those inversion tables. My uncle has one of those in his garage. Hmm. But I don't think I'm going over there to fuck or anything. Mm. Have you ever role played? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. But I've seen, a, uh, you know what, I hooked up with a couple of ladybugs one time at Halloween. But I do remember <laughs> this, man. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, what else, dude? We might have covered it all, guys. I think so. Yeah. This was a very fun podcast. <laughs> was it? Yeah. I, lo- I, you know, I enjoy sending to you this time. We didn't I, talk I'm about Westerns. That's guys. the only thing I'd like to talk about sometime with about you. About what, Westerns? Yeah. The movies? Yeah, just yeah. or just... The, the- Blazing Saddles. Yeah. It's a good one. It's a good one, man. It's Westworld. Good. Westworld. I haven't watched it. I'm excited this week to watch Corey Sanhagen fight against Pedro Rion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, obviously, I'm going to be at the Dustin Poirier fight in a couple of weeks. Sugar yeah, bro. Months. Who's you like fighting? Sugar Sean? Yeah, I like Sugar Sean. Yeah, I love y'all's episode with him. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So good. Hell yeah. <laughs> God, he's such a good... Do you think anybody can just be, like... Do you think it takes a certain level of confidence to actually be somebody like Sugar Sean or like somebody like Takashi? Or do you think anybody can just? No, no, no yeah. chance. No you, chance. You think it takes a Coffee. certain? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Sh- Sean has always been just this bubbly, super likable, fun, life loving kid. Right. Then he became a fighter. Now he's confident. Now he's got a little swag. Right. Then he started winning. People like it. Like you build right. Takashi, I'm sure, same has always been kind of like he's a joke sir. He's a little bit of a troll. Got some fame. So you evolve into this really unique, special person. Then you become the thing. Because I just wonder if anybody put on that just belligerent confidence, right? Yeah. Would they be accepted as... Because that's such a brave step to take, you know? McGregor would tell you no or yes, and and others would tell you no. like it's, Right, because some guys like Poirier couldn't do it. It wouldn't fit him. That's the thing. Are you talking about only for fighters? No, maybe not. I'm talking maybe because Takashi ain't a fighter. Yeah, I mean sometimes he's kind of thi- some... real thick. Anyway, he don't oh, look yeah, like he yeah, could yeah, even yeah, really... Yeah, yeah. Hey, be careful of the man that held my hand. Oh, that's yeah, fine, yeah. dude. Not shocked by it. Uh, okay, the guy's fucking. Uh, all right, Theo, thanks for coming out, bro. You Excited bet, for man. your special. Yeah, right? check it out. You guys, check it out. It's on Netflix. And uh, thank you, guys, man. It's a pleasure. Yeah, just happy to be here. And, and thanks for the time. Of course, bro. Like, Logan. Y- y'all can follow him Georgie. on Instagram, th- Theo Vaughn. Super easy. We love you. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.